Second ginseng, cure all herb. They are all referring to acanthopanax, one of the most widely used medicinal herbs in Korea. Acanthopanax has been used traditionally as an analgesic with tonifying effects, and in modern times it is gaining a new reputation as a cure for various chronic adult diseases. This patient has been admitted for her disc problem. Her herniated cervical disc gave her severe pain, which even affected her spine and disabled her from moving. She's been receiving treatment for 20 days so far. And now she has little difficulty moving her neck up and down and from right to left. One of the major treatment methods the patient is relying on is herbal medicine whose active ingredient is acanthopanax. In oriental medicine, acanthopanax has long been prescribed for lumbago, numbness, rheumatism, and other chronic articulation disorders. In his ancient writing, Bon Cho Kangmo, Chinese botanist Li Shi Jin observed, a handful of acanthopanics is much better than a carriage full of gold. And a respected Korean doctor from the Chosun dynasty, Ho Jun, also said, long-term use of acanthopanics can make the body feel lighter and it can slow down the aging process. There are more than 10 types of these deciduous broadleaf trees in Korea. From ancient times till now, Koreans have used it for medicine or liquor. Acanthropanax that has thorns along its stem is called Acanthropanax centicosis, which is widely used for medicinal purposes in recent years. A number of studies on acanthopanax's therapeutic properties and their medicinal actions are underway throughout the world. So far, it has been known to improve the liver function, remove toxic matters, and support the immune system. Its curative constituents are contained in its leaves, stems, fruits, and root. The constituents in acanthopanax that have received the most attention are lignans and sesame. <laughs> Acanthopanax centicosis is highly valued for its anti-allergic actions. In this test, three groups of rats were used. First, encanthopanax centicosis extract was administered to two groups. And then, one hour later, allergy-inducing agents were injected into the same groups. This first group was exposed to nothing. The second group to both allergenic substance and encanthopanax centicosis. And the last group only to allergenic substance. And about 20 minutes after the allergy-inducing agent was injected, the rats in the third group died. This strongly implies the correlation between acanthropanic centicosis and allergic reactions. 
the relevance between them has been proven to be a little different in Acanthopanax root and stem. Both root and stem help prevent skin allergies from appearing. 우리 몸 속에 있는 비만 세포라고 있습니다. 영어로 mast cell인데 이 비만 세포에서 분비되는 히스타민 때문에 이 히스타민이 혈관을 확장을 시킵니다. 많이 분비되면요. 그래서 혈관을 확장을 시키게 되면 결국 어떻게 되겠어요? 혈압이 떨어집니다. 그래서 저혈압으로 쇼크로 그래서 죽는 거거든요. 그 사망에 이르는 그런 메커니즘인데 그런 모델을 만들어서 가시오갈피의 줄기하고 뿌리를 저희가 추침액을 얻어 가지고 실험을 했어요. 그런 결과 줄기보다 뿌리에서 오히려 효과가 훨씬 좋게 나타났거든요. 그래서 이러한 그 가시오갈피의 효과는 바로 가시오갈피가 우리 몸 속에 있는 비만 세포에 아마도 비만 세포의 멤브레인입니다. 비만 세포 막에 작용을 해서 막을 안정화 시켜서 아까 말씀드린 그런 히스타민의 분비를 억제함으로써 그런 알레르기 반응을 억제하는 것으로 이렇게 사료가 됩니다. Frequently nicknamed Siberian ginseng across the world, Acanthopanax synthicosis is famous for enhancing overall body functions. In recent years, the medical world has been paying attention to its curative potential for paralysis and dementia. A number of studies are currently in progress. Test rats' cerebral arteries were blocked to cut off the blood supply to the brain. Naturally, their brain cells began to die. And at that moment, Acanthopanax synthicosis extract was administered to see how effectively it could prevent further necrosis of brain cells. In case of the rats whose brain arteries were blocked and left untreated, their brain cells began to die at a rapid rate. But the rats treated with the herbal extract significantly slowed down the death of the brain cells. Their brain nerves showed little difference from that of normal rats. <laughs> 오가피, 가시오가피의 추출물을 투여했을 때, 그, 투여하지 않은 군에 비해서 통계학적으로 유의하게 그 신경세포가 죽어가는 것을 방어하는 효과를 관찰하였습니다. 이 효과는 그, 그 다시 말해서 만약에 사람에게 투여를 한다면 그 사람에 있어서 신경세포가 죽어가는 현상, 예를 들어서 알츠하이머나 파킨슨 병 등의 예방, 및 진행 억제에 효과가 있을 것으로 생각이 되고 또 사람이 중풍이 일어났을 경우에 신경세포가 죽어가는 것을 방어하는 그러한 효과로도 사용될 수 있을 것으로 생각이 됩니다. Acanthopanax's reputed efficacies are not only backed by centuries of empirical experience but also confirmed by scientific studies in more recent years. It is highly hoped that this traditional herb can be developed into both a preventative and curative measure for modern intractable diseases, such as epilepsy and dementia.